What's up? Getting ready for today's workout. Breaking up some new chalk. One of the things that, if you own a gym like mine, where it's like, you could lift heavy shit, and, you, and that's the purpose of the fucking gym, is to lift heavy shit, you're gonna, have, you're gonna run out of chalk all the time. So I started running out of chalk yesterday. So I gotta break this shit up now before I do my workout. But uh, before, I, before I get going, one of the things I wanted to address is a question that you guys started asking me yesterday. Not many people, but a few who are like, uh, is everything all right, Elliot? It seems like, seems like you get, you're sad or you have low energy or you're, you're just not yourself. You see, that's a, that's a strange thing because what is myself? What is Elliot Hulse? And do you know Elliot Hulse better than Elliot Hulse might Elliot, know Elliot Hulse? Because I don't even know Elliot Hulse. You, you understand what I'm saying here? To believe that there's a static personality, a, a static character within an individual takes out of account or shows ignorance of the nature of the universe, which is dynamic. Nothing is permanent. Everything is impermanent. So for me to continue to be an Elliot Hulse that you've come attached to means that I have to deny reality. I have to deny nature, which means Sometimes I'm just gonna fucking be different. Sometimes I might not be anything like what you have come to know. And sometimes you will do the same thing. In fact, you should. And my, that's a big part of my invitation. My, part of my invitation to becoming the strongest version of yourself is not picking something and sticking to it regardless of extrinsic or intrinsic change. Life is about fucking change. So if I seem different, it's because life is happening through me. Do you understand? And, and you should be different also at all times. It, you, you should, in other words, you should allow yourself to evolve. And that's what you're experiencing. When you watch me, it's an evolution. I wish I could stay, you know, we watch TV and the longest running show on TV is The Simpsons because the characters are not human. They're cartoons, so they're allowed to stay a particular way. But even then, because TV to a lesser degree than the internet is a open system, basically, basically, you know, feedback from, from the audience contributes to the way the show is going to be run. The characters, fuck, I'm breaking up all this. The characters are drawn. They're not human beings. So they don't grow up. They don't change ideas. They don't, they, they don't evolve. So I just, you know, a, a part of what you're seeing happening here is a, is a rebellion of my spirit. It's a, it's a rebellion of my soul against what was quickly becoming a static character that I had to continue to play. And I'm slowly eroding, breaking it up, killing a particular character. And it's far more subtle than, you know, the 260 pound steroid Elliot versus, you know, 190 pound doing Tough Mudder Elliot. It's, it, it's a bit more subtle than that. And it may not be so obvious to most people, but a lot of you guys, like, you study me. You watch every single video. You look in deeply into my eyes, and, and you understand, and you can sense what's going on here. So I feel like I offer you that. There's a change happening here. It's normal. It's natural. The only pain is associated with resistance against evolution. Okay? You can't resist this shit. I can't resist this shit. And that's why I'm starting to make these vlog-type videos. All right, I'm done talking because I'm making a mess of this chalk. Anyway, so uh, muscle snatch, snatch balance today, and then some conditioning work. See you in a little bit. So some of you guys said that my, narrow, my grip was a bit narrow. I'm going to try a wider grip here. It's almost like you guys are coaching me, some of you Olympic guys, so I appreciate that. because it's not my area of expertise. What up, man?
So one of the most subtle and insidious forms of slavery is the expectations that you set for other people. And then it becomes personalized and it becomes crystallized within the personality that you're enslaving through your expectations of them. So that individual feels as if they need to uphold a particular standard that the external world has created, right? So, you know, I come to you as transparent as I can because that's how I got to you. Because this guy just tells it like it fucking is. So he, this is another manif manifestation of that. And one of the things I have to share with you is that after reaching almost half a million subscribers, which look, hey, it's not that much, you know, I'm not fucking Oprah, you know. But it's, it's quite a bit more of attention than I, I'm used to and all the feedback associated with it, I started to feel as if I needed to maintain a particular character for the extrinsic world to relate to me in, in, in the way that it always has. So in other words, in me, but through you, slavery is being created. And nothing I hate more than fucking slavery. Freedom is my highest aspiration. So that's it. But you know, again, it's, it's subtle, it's insidious, we don't think about it, right? So there's no, there's no animosity, there's no regret. There is, how do I sidestep this? Do you see, we'll always, we, I share this with you because it will be your experience as well. Because your parents will do it to you, your school will do it to you, your girlfriend will go, do it to you, your boss will do it to you. There's always going to be an expectation as to how you can meet the demands and the desires of other people. Now, world is, the world is about service, but it shouldn't be at the expense of being true to your heart. So these are all ideas I just want to share. So anyway, back to Snatch Balance. Why are you grip? than that, right? You want to get under it, but that getting that ass low takes a little while. It's mostly my flexibility. Whew, speed. Work on that. Do I have to go all the way down for the snatch balance? That's some feedback I would appreciate from you guys. You, you know, you guys that are into Olympic lifting.
feel like it's my responsibility to share my experiences, share my ideas. Not that they're right, but perhaps they could offer a perspective through which other people could grow stronger. So that's, that's, that's part of why I'll keep doing it. Maybe in different formats. I may have come across differently. I may use different language. I might look different. But I think it's, 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 in a way, it's all of our soul's calling to evolve and to help others evolve. I'm just, I'm grateful to live in a day and age where the technology allows me to do this and to earn a living doing it. So for that, I am eternally grateful. This is a brand new day and age. All this shit is brand fucking new. Nobody's done this before. Nobody puts up a camera and talks to the entire world every single day. YouTube is like what? Seven years old, maybe? So there's, there's some conflict there, you know? There's values, values uh, dissonance often. Because it's like, none of this shit even makes sense. But it is what it is, and we've got to take advantage of it. And be grateful for it. And that I am.
Huh? 